Louisiana Beer Reviews, Dogfish Head 60 Minute India Pale Ale. Well, Dogfish Head has arrived in Louisiana as of January 2018. Uh, last time I had this beer was nearly five years ago. I bought a bottle of this at Montgomery Plaza Liquors in Catonsville, Maryland on U.S. Highway 40 eastbound, in case you want to know that. 6% alcohol, 60 IBUs. Um, the 60 minute has something to do with adding hop additions during a 60 minute boil. All right, they use Northwest hops. The malts, they don't say on the website, guess some kind of pale malts. All right, um, continually hop, super fantastic East Coast IPA. Okay, and then a <coughs> Milton, Delaware. I have been to Delaware a number of times. We even drove from the top to the bottom of Delaware along Highway 13, U.S. Highway 13, I believe it was. I like Delaware, one of the old South states. All right. So there's the shark. I loved it when I had it going on five years ago and I have a feeling I'm gonna love it again uh, beer advocates saying it's exceptional their third highest score like what I would call most excellent they're saying 81 though I don't think 81 is exceptional if you took a test and made an 81 it would be okay your advocate rape you're saying no it's a 97 out of 100 it's a world-class beer in the style they're saying 99 out of 100 well, I would call 97 outstanding. World class to me is above 100. It's beyond, above and beyond even almost like you can't believe it's that good. I've had five or six beers like that in my life, like West Flatera 12, but I haven't had too many. That's golden. That's clear with a white head, not a heavy, you know, a thick white head, a lot of bubbles, and a little bit of suspended sediment. Not too much. It's a clean looking product. All right. I haven't been to Catonsville, Maryland in a while, nor Baltimore. I shouldn't go back. Um, I, I stayed there because the uh, Ramada Inn Limited had a good price. Like, I was able to get on their website. That's another topic. You can find better deals on the company's actual website than using those um, locator things, you know, like hotels.com, I think. That's my experience. All right. Plus, you can earn a lot of points, get free hotel nights. I've gotten so many hotel nights for free with my Wyndham Rewards Gold Card, which costs nothing to have. It smells resiny, a little piney, some tropical fruit, pale malts. All around smells good, you know. I like it. Is it anything remarkable, extraordinary? Nah, but what was the price? Oh. It was $1.99 for a single, okay. Five years ago would have been $1.59. Okay, prices have gone up, unfortunately. Here it is at 8, 10 a.m. The sun is rising. The sky is clear at this time. Still damp, though, and chilly, about 50 degrees. Not exactly my type of weather. Anyway, regardless. <laughs> Tropical fruit, hop resin, Pale malt, white bread crust. You say, oh, you've said that so many times. Oh, yes, I've had so many beers that taste like this. Medium body and a dry finish. Um, did I prefer the 90-minute IPA? Yes, I did. It was more intense. It was stronger. I liked it more. Do we have it here yet? No, we do not. Will I buy it? Yes, I will. I like this more than the New Belgium IPAs because of the, the, that company has that weird fleshy hops. Ugh. This does not have that. I don't like that fleshy hop thing. Ugh. But I love the New Belgium like Abbey Ale. Abbey Ale. I like the Fat Tire. Just their IPAs don't sit well with me. With me, you might love them. Nice lacing. We have a pretty good portfolio of uh, Dogfish Head beers here, but one store manager, I won't name the store, I don't want to get too 
controversial, but he told me, he said, dogfish head, it's not moving. He said, what's going on, dogfish head, it's not moving. I said, I bought some. Uh, so that's not a good sign. Uh, that's been a trend around here, but usually they move at first, like we'll get sweet water, yay, and it's like hot, and then it's kind of hot, and then in a month it's kind of dead, and then terrapin, yeah, woo-wee, bells, all right, bells, all right, uh, ballast point, yippee ki -yay. ballast point, ballast point, dogfish head, and it just went, according to him, it never caught on, wow, that's weird, kind of like point brew, we got all the point, Stevens point beers, and they never, I liked them, you know, to me, but they never caught on, but that's the trend here, it's hot for two weeks, then moderate, and then dead on the shelf. What's hot around here? Well, you know, your typical Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, Bush beer, you know, that kind of stuff. And then, of course, the Louisiana craft beers. Louisiana craft beers do well here. Um, you know, Tin Roof, Abita, Nola Brewing, Urban South. Port Orleans, that kind of stuff. That has, to a large extent, pushed the out-of-state craft beers off the shelf. People ask me constantly, what about this craft beer? What about that craft beer? I said, look, I don't see it around here. So anyway. Now, 97 out of 100, that's a little far-fetched. I mean, this is not outstanding. But 81, that's too low. I mean, it's like, what? I think it's probably more like a 93 out of 100. All right, so it's most excellent. It's a solid, or getting into a solid A beer. 93, 94, 95, but it's right around 93, okay? It's above A minus. Is it just exploding plastic inevitable? No. But it's really enjoyable what's the negatives about it oh can't think of any except that I like higher IBU I mean 90 would be better for me and 9% alcohol would be more of my, my liking like yeah Elysian Space Dust is better than this because it's got more pep you know what I mean but for a milder IPA this is fine and I got no problem with it so 93 out of 100, A. How are we going to do with the uh, chopped, you know, the luncheon meat, the, 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 lap, the rest of the cream cheese, and the hot sauce, Louisiana Supreme hot sauce. No more cream cheese. I'm going into Swiss cheese now for a while, some sliced Swiss cheese. And the gummisa crackers. Well, of course, it's going to pair well. It's beer, right? Beer or crackers. Now, if it was a Berliner Weisse or a Goza, mm, that might not pair too well. But this is it. A pale India pale ale, so it does fine. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, the birds are very exuberant about today's weather. Y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.